Hi everyone, this is Susan from the Graceful Lily Market. Uh, I'm bringing you today a haul from uh, the last video. I went to two Goodwills and uh, now I'll be showing you what I got. And also I actually went to a, um, a, th a Goodwill actually uh, by my very close to my house. My daughter wanted to go thrifting, so I went to that, and I'll be showing that towards the end. So, let's see. Let's start with what I got at the first one, if I can remember. Now, this one, um, I didn't show in my last haul. This was at the Humane Society, uh, the um, thrift store, and I just thought this was cool. Everything was just so expensive there, so I didn't buy much. And I just bought this. I don't know what it is. It's maybe for bananas, but I thought it was kind of fun. Um, well, I did say I wasn't going to go thrifting anymore because I have so much stuff to list, which I haven't listed yet. I mean, I have tons of stuff that I bought uh, right after the lift to uh, not quarantine anymore came out and where we could go to stores. And I just went crazy. I went like almost every day getting uh, sourcing because I thought we might go back to quarantine again. So, so most of this stuff is stuff I'm going to keep. So it's not going to be for sale. Some of it might be. So we'll just go through it and I'll let you know what's going to be for sale and what's for myself. Okay, so... Uh, the first store, I think the first thing that I found was uh, this. Nice green, avocado green color with some drip glaze. And I just couldn't believe my eyes when I looked over and I saw that it was a McCoy. I don't know if you can see that. And only $2.99, which surprised me because I think somebody did not see this because usually McCoy's will go for $10 or more depending on the size and for this little little planter they would probably charge close to $10 at my Goodwill anyway but only $2.99 I was excited because I'm starting to collect vintage planters especially in the green color because um, I have a planter on my patio that I just got and I want to make a bunch of uh, little planters with succulents and whatever I find uh, pretty to plant. So that's going to go in my little planter. <clears throat> then I found this. I was, I usually, I've been, I've been looking at the clear stuff now because you never know where you're going to find it. So I suggest that you guys look through the clear glass stuff because there's a lot of stuff that I miss, must have missed out on because I didn't look at it. But this is fairly modern, I believe. It's a Villeroy and Bach. I might be saying that wrong. But I, I know this brand. I've seen it. It's expensive. This is pretty heavy, I believe. It's crystal. Um, $8.99, I got it, which might be high price, but it has the original sticker let me see here and it's made in Germany so really nice uh, has the the original sticker of the manufacturer and a Macy's return label and it originally was $71 and 50 cents and then they had it on clearance for $49.99 and I got it for $8.99 at Goodwill. And it's perfect, no chips. And just look at the details, scalloped kind of details. And it's even etched with the with the uh, name Willeroy and Bach and then even the sticker. So it's I think it's really pretty. I might sell this or keep it. I am not sure. It looks like it's never been used. No, no. Uh, utensil marks or anything so I was really happy to find this you just never know what you're gonna find in the clear glass section so I suggest looking and if you hear my dog barking 
she always barks. She's a terrier. Uh, she's a Morky, which is a Maltese Yorkie mix, and she barks for everything. She barks all the time. We've tried to c control her in ways like the best way that I try to control her barking is by spraying her with water, a water pump, and that's the only thing that works. But since I'm not there or anybody's out there to spray her, <laughs> she's, she might be barking. Okay, so then what else? Um, so I found these little doggies in a bag and I thought wow for 99 cents I'll pick it up um none of them have markings uh, one that does have a sticker but it's half gone but I, it, I believe it's a Japan sticker and and one looks like somebody made it it's just really cute little doggies I can now take it out I haven't opened it yet but this one had a sticker, but look how cute. I don't know if you guys can see that, if it's blurry or not. So it's just a little doggy. I might keep them. I have a little dog collection that I have in my china cabinet. Or I could sell them. But I really like this one because it looks like it's pottery. And it looks like it might have been made. Artist made or... It's really cute, very unique looking little dog. I don't know if you could see their face, but it's pottery. Really nicely colored. So far, no chips or anything on any of these. This one as well, this looks like a Basset Hound. And I used to have a Beagle, so I used to also buy Basset Hounds because they look very similar to Beagles. And um, yeah, this one has what looks like a foil sticker which could have been a Japanese made in Japan sticker and and this is a the Basset really cute feels like porcelain nicely painted so that's cute for 99 cents for all these and this is the last one this one uh it's cute but not my favorite it's cute it looks like it might have it has a little thing in the bottom, maybe for pencils. I ha maybe it was on a stick. I don't know. Maybe I'll give that back to charity or... Um, I don't know. It has a weird texture, like... Like a velvet. It could have been... Yeah, it, look, it looks like it could have been part of a pencil. It's not even porcelain. Okay, so that's that. And then, oh, I thought, oh, this is like my favorite. I know that a lot of people say that the, the false graph pottery is not very sellable. But I've been seeing a lot of like, um, been following a lot of people on, um, on YouTube now. Because I, I love farmhouse style for the rest of my house. For this room, I have it pink and Victorian and whatever's pretty and crystal and in my room as well, I have gold and anything that's bright and beautiful. But um, when it comes to the rest of my home, because my husband doesn't like all that pink stuff and I love the farmhouse look. So I noticed that a lot of farmhouse um, decorators or designers or just hobbyist of of the of the style love this brand the false graph and i couldn't believe that i found the basin and the pitcher and it's vintage false graph because of the castle is what i understand the castle let me show you let me make sure it's upright. It's kind of hard to see, but it's when you see the castle that it makes it vintage. So, and what's cool about this is it, I think it's never been used. It has the original pamphlet. Let me see if it has a date. It looks pretty, pretty old. I mean, I, I have to dust it. But it has the whole collection of the heritage stoneware, so that's what this is. 
part of that collection. I wish I had a date, but it just looks, I don't know when they started making this collection, but too bad it doesn't have a date. No, but looking by the graphics, it's pretty old. I wish I can tell by it what year, but. Well, anyway, I did pay a little than I wanted to pay. So instead of them selling it as a set, they had it uh, separately. So $9.99 for the picture. No chips, no cracks. Looks like it was never used. And the basin or the bowl, $9.99 as well. And it also has the signature. So that is going to stay with me. So it was worth the $20 to get this little set that I've been hearing so much about this, this collection and how nice this would look. And I have a perfect place for it in my dining room um, in a little table that I have. So this will be cute. So I'm going to keep that. So, so far, I might sell the the crystal cake plate so that's the only thing that i might resell or keep it not sure depending on comps or what i can probably get for it and then these i went i always go to the front frame section because i need frames for artwork all the time but i found these and they're made out of wood and they're i and they're vintage And you can tell in the back they're pretty old. And they I, they were only a dollar each, which is wonderful. Cause I love to put like Victorian prints in there. Like I have this little collection of Victorian fashion uh, drawings that were like watercolored looking, and I love that. So I might do that I might put a set in there and then also I found these which are very very vintage I like these I've bought these before and I've sold them they only go for like between 10 and 15 dollars but I got these for three dollars each because I got two sets so three dollars each I mean I can turn around and sell it for 10 to 15 dollars um, I just love them. I mean, I should keep them, but you know, I don't know if we'll use it here, but maybe I'll keep a set. But these are silver plated, so these might be worth a little more because the ones I had before I sold for ten dollars and they were aluminum. So these are silver, silver plated, and it does say on the rim that it is. So those might be for resale. Then I, I know Boyd's Bear doesn't sell so great, but I just saw this old looking Santa and I actually didn't know that it was Boyd's Bear. I pick up Boyd's Bear stuff because I have, I have a special love for Boyd's Bear because I used to collect it back in the 90s. So I love them and I still love them and if I see them, especially the plush stuffed animals I love I pick it up and I, I you get de decent money if you buy it for um, a low price so I mean either this could be a scary looking Santa or a vintage looking Santa because he's carrying a stuffed animal and a doll and the doll looks quite scared so you know that's up to you but it looks carved but it's made out of resin I, I usually don't like picking up stuff, newer stuff, but this would be made probably in the 90s. It's numbered, and it only cost me $1.99. So if comps are good and it goes for good money, I'll probably sell it. If not, I'll keep it because I love Santa Claus stuff, like especially vintage-looking Santas. So, and this seems like an old-world European Santa, which makes it even better for me. I, I love these kind of Santas okay then still in the same one I believe 
I kind of mixed up when I went to the second one, but I want this. I kind of paid up. I wanted it because I collect collect milk glass, and I've never seen this one, which is a little basket hobnail ruffled uh, milk glass. It's it is signed Fenton, so it's newer, and eight ninety nine is what. I had to pay minus 15% off. Uh, all of this was on the in the first one was uh, well actually all of it 15% off because they had this uh, special promotion on the weekend 15% off. And uh this they had behind what they call Treasure Island is where they keep all the stuff that they price up because it has a name on it or uh fragile stuff that they don't want to put out on the floor uh so this was pretty nice and then let me see i wonder in this one i might mix up what i got which which um goodwill because i my memory is i can't remember right now this one i usually don't pick up these jars they're called ginger jars but i just liked it because it ha it was it's hand painted it has that detail the colors are very reminiscent of uh, 80s because it has the, um, the light color. But I liked it. it had no chips and it was only $2.99. It's about, I don't know, 8 inches tall, maybe taller. But it had no chips and it looks really cute. I think I might see a chip. No, that's just under the glaze. Okay this one i'm i'm gonna sell so if you're interested just and you don't see it on my ebay which on my i'm going to link my ebay store down below um and uh just to let you know it's the graceful lily market on ebay um but if you're interested just let me know you can e email me um i also have my email linked and um you can just let me know and if you want to make an offer on any of these things well you know anything could be for sale uh, just email me and um i can send you a face um a paypal uh invoice and we could make it we can do business now these i don't know why i always pick them up because they haven't been selling for me but i just pick them up because i love pottery you know it's just like it's so hefty and I love the blue, and it's the Williamsburg pottery. I love it. If this stuff not, doesn't sell, I'll keep it. It's perfect for planting anything, flowers, use it as a vase. I mean, I just love those. So I don't mind. Okay, so these for sure, I know I got it. The second Goodwill, also 15% off. So I got this set. Now these are going to be Stay With Me. Uh, I have a dough bowl and I like to put fillers in it and these are so cute so farmhouse and these things were a dollar each even though they're different sizes they still priced it at 50 I mean at a dollar each this should have been 50 cents but I love the colors like a rustic um, wood color so that was a good buy. I got excited when I saw that. Because I've always wanted it, but I didn't want to spend $10 on each ball. Okay, so let's see. Let's continue. I also found this, I'm assuming it's depression pink glass. On the camera, it looks orangey, but it's pink. It looks like a rose motif. I'm not... A professional when it comes to uh, depression glass and I don't know if this is a reproduction or not but it has like a texture to it on the back or the bottom of it and if anybody knows about depression glass and you want to educate me on it um, that would be great you can comment below but each of these plates were a dollar so I thought for a dollar that would be fine with me i could always keep them and use them as dessert plates because i love pink but no chips no cracks really cute i love this set 
then I saw this every time I see roses in a bowl I am just weakened to buy it I don't know which way it goes really beautiful I don't believe it's hand painted I usually find them hand painted this looks like transfer wear yeah might be but I look at the colors the pink just a beautiful it's a nice big bowl beautiful in a cabinet and this one is $2.99 I never took out the tag to see if, if it was signed or had a manufacturer but it's so pretty to me that I didn't care a lot of this stuff like older stuff doesn't have names on it is what I noticed so no this doesn't have a manufacturer's mark there is some like indentation of something or that I would need I do see oh I see it indentate indentation of a marking it says Germany so this is made in Germany the only thing that shows up is like G E R M A and the rest is so it's like in the plate it says Germany and there's another mark but I'm I'm not sure if that's it looks like a J I'm not sure if that's part of the but at least I know now it's made in Germany but like I said it looks like transfer wear I don't see any like markings that show that it's hand painted but what a beautiful bowl I love it for for three dollars um, I'm gonna see if I can sell it between ten to fifteen dollars see uh, how that goes if not I could always keep it I mean no big deal now this is for me because I collect these little German cups and they're usually like mustache cups but some of them uh, don't have that mustache part it's like the luster pink from Germany and I have a large collection of these note chips I was excited because I never find this in the wild and it was only a dollar ninety nine I mean I love it I have usually mines will say um, from a friend um, I forgot like, like the sayings to uh, the one you love or something like that I, I forget right now but I was very happy to find this and it is marked made in Germany actually it doesn't say made in Germany but it's a marking it's a cat it looks like a castle marking I don't know if anybody is familiar with this mark but I am almost a hundred percent sure it's German just because I collect these and they're always from Germany so I'll be looking that up uh, just to, to see like what the mark is from now this was a little upsetting I mean it was nobody's fault I got this little it looks like a dressing because of the lace the stiff lace I forget what that's called but it's like a lace that's stiff and it's very fragile most of the lace is on there so that, that's good because usually it's very hard to find it all intact now there was a collection of these there was like four other ones and actually this wasn't even like my favorite one they had other ballerinas um, and I was upset because this is this was at the Treasure Island part of Goodwill and so the guy not his fault I he was so apologetic apologetic and um, he they usually take it in a tray well he had all five of them there so I don't know what happened that they all I was I was I was looking around at other stuff to make sure that that's all I wanted so he was looking around or I was looking around and he I heard a crash I knew it was my stuff I knew it was my stuff so I went over there and I'm like oh no it was all over the floor heads cut off decapitated arms legs bodies half cut this is the only one that survived so I guess this one was meant to be even though this wasn't my favorite because the 
thing, the uh, skirt, the, the tutu is kind of like a peach look. And the other ones just had a prettier color, you know, pink and beautiful light blues. So, I mean, I still love her. She's pretty. She, she has no chips or cracks. And actually, it, I think $3.99, it's okay. But the other ones were a little less. This one was the biggest one, so it was, they priced it higher. And the other ones were like $1.99, $2.99. So this is made in Japan by Orion. It looks like somebody tried to sell it for 98 cents before and Goodwill sold it for $3.99 and I'm the sucker that bought it. Yes. <laughs> but I love it. I mean, it's worth it. Um, so she's mine because I have a little collection of these ballerinas and um, figurines that have the tutu or the dresses in this <clears throat> in this lace and I love it and now this is another thing I found um, the reason I buy these this is only my second one but this is pretty big I like these because somebody made it I'm gonna change this to pink but it just reminds me of something Victorian and it was only two dollars and I could put that on top of a tree because I think that's what it is. It's an angel topper. But I thought it was cute. You know. I don't know how they make that lace. Just stiff like that. I have no idea how they make it. But I don't know. I'm going to find like some lace for it. To, make, to give it a pink look. Because I have a pink tree that I have for Christmas. And I put it in this room. You know, so I can have my pinkness. Well, it's not a pink tree. It's a white tree. And I decorated it in pink. Then I bought this. Um, I was looking for a tray, like a vanity tray. Um, and this is uh, silver plated. So I thought of maybe even painting it white. Because I've seen these sell as farmhouse decor where it's painted white and then distress but I don't know I might keep it this way just because it's real um, silver plate and that you see the tarnish goodness there so this might go in my on my bureau or dresser and just to keep you know uh, jewelry I use often so that would be cute then this was sometimes i get so upset when i have to pay so much money for something because it has a name on it and and um goodwill has it behind glass and then they charge you up for it but i couldn't believe my eyes when i found this a longa burger basket on the shelf for 3.99 now I have bought baskets behind a longer burger baskets behind the glass for ten dollars a basket, like smaller than this. So I was glad, and this one's dated 1993, and of course with the longer burger stamp. So 3.99, I was so happy to get this. It looks like a bread, a bread basket. Now it has the lining. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it because I I do I usually just display these. So I mean I'll keep the lining for sure, but I might not display it with the lining. But I'm so happy to get this, and it is just great to find something that is not marked up because of the name. And then I get uh, that's all for the two Goodwills, and then yesterday going to Goodwill with my daughter. I only got a few things because it, the one near my house is, they never have anything good for some reason. It must be our location. I bought this because I thought it was interesting. It's like a vase with a little spout and is measuring and it does, it says, there's each column says flour, sugar, and then just a cup measuring. And well, it was $4.99, which I think was too much, but it's, it look, it's never been used. It has, still has this label and it's actually made in Italy. So it's high quality glass and also it's 
printed on the glass Italy and this is this the name that it gives uh, that the label gives it is uh, Desator, a Desator measuring jug I don't know if I'm saying that right but either it's used for measuring but I thought of using it for plants as a you know a pitcher to a vase okay and then I already have one of these but I mean if I see one I'm picking it up because I don't find them very often milk glass I was hoping this one was signed but it's not the one I have is not signed and I paid ten dollars for that at an at a vintage sale like a kind of like a, a vintage antique fair kind of thing so this one I got for $3.99 and I think I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one I'm not sure um, I gotta see which one is better quality because the other one I think had a few chips so I might keep this one and try to sell the other one not sure yet but one of them will be mine then I saw this I'm not familiar with this but I bought it because it was cute it's a pitcher uh, teapot I mean it's a cat and and also it's it has a tag that it used to be $24 looks like it's vintage and it's made in England so that with that said I had to pick it up so this one's called pussyfoot and England and there's something underneath the tag kind of writing there so when I remove that it looks like it's like been there for a long time so it's gonna be hard to remove I wonder if it's a Fitz and Floyd because I kind of see that kind of writing under there but I'm not sure but anyway it's something I'm gonna sell it cost me $6.99 I usually have a rule that I don't spend more than five dollars but I don't know why I bought this. So $6.99, I did have a discount in the, um, in the, at the checkout. So I had a, like a dollar something off because of previous purchases. In my Goodwill, they have a rewards uh, thing um, and you get money back. So I'm gonna say that this was $5.99 instead because of the extra dollar that I got off. Now this I bought actually at the Humane Society along with that little weird unfoldable basket. But I love Rachel Ashwell's uh, Shabby Chic and this is from her collection Simply Shabby Chic from Target. Now I don't know how old this is. This is not current. It was all packaged, so it was brand new, never used. I took the packaging off. But look, it's a frame, white, shabby frame, and it's little stand. So that, to me, is great. And I forgot what I paid for it. I think it was 2 or $3. I thought it was worth it, because I love uh, Rachel Ashwell. I love shabby chic, and this will go well in this room and uh let's see and then i bought something that i thought oh let me just uh, i could make a quick buck but i saw this <laughs> it's a jurassic world cup dinosaur now from the time i was at the goodwill to to now i mean coming home i don't know what happened but i have a small chip there it looks like paint chip but it wasn't there before and this was only a dollar and they're going for uh, a, they, they're going for 10 to 15 dollars on eBay so I was gonna do a quick turnaround make some money so I'll probably still put it on and just tell them that there's a little paint loss there because it's not a chip it's just somehow it got hit against something even though it was wrapped I, I unwrapped it just now and saw that. Well, that is everything that concludes my thrift uh, haul. And uh, most of this is for myself because I have too much to, set to a list on eBay. 
so I hope you enjoyed it um, I hope it wasn't too long my daughter saying that I'm, my videos are getting too long and I'm trying to do my best so I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you if you found any find, found anything here that you liked let me know what was your favorite item and what you would have picked up on um, on my goodwill uh, video of the one before this and um, I hope you're enjoying your day and thank you for joining me but don't forget to comment or like comment and subscribe and if you like my videos just click on that little bell and um, it'll notify you anytime I have a new video uploaded so thank you for joining me I appreciate it thank you